the US imposed tariff measures have not boosted American economic growth. Instead, they have done serious harm to the US economy. First, the tariff measures have significantly increased production costs for US companies. Second, the tariff measures lead to domestic price hikes in the US. The 25% additional tariffs on furniture alone will cost the US consumer an additional 4.6 billion US dollars per year. Third, the tariff measures have an impact on US economic growth and people's livelihood. Under the impact of China-US economic and trade friction, US GDP in 2019 in the next four years could decrease by 64 to 91 billion US dollars per year. If the US imposes 25% tariffs on all Chinese goods exported to the US, US GDP will decrease by 1 trillion US dollars in the next 10 years cumulatively. Fourth, the tariff measures lead to barriers to US exports to China. From 2009 to 2018, US exports to China supported over 1.1 million jobs. 48 states of the US have increased their goods exports to China during the last decade, 44 of them by double digits. In 2018, when economic and trade friction worsened, only 16 states increased their goods exports to China. 34 states exported fewer goods to China, with 24 of them seeing a double-digit decrease. The Midwest and agricultural states were hit particularly hard. Under tariff measures, exports of American agricultural produce to China decreased by 33.1% year-on-year, including a 50% drop in soybeans.